Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed chapter one of Stick Dog. We're now going to start reading chapter two. So while we're reading, think about the characters, that's the who. Think about the setting, that's the when and the where. And think about the plot, the events, the things that are happening, the what is happening, what happens at the beginning of the chapter, what happens in the middle of the chapter, and what happens at the end of the chapter. So chapter two. Poo Poo, Stripes, Karen, and Mutt. Stick Dog lives in the suburb somewhere between Big City and the forest. There are houses around, but there are also parks and playgrounds, swimming pools, streets, telephone poles, fire hydrants, and grassy lawns. He lives in a big empty pipe that runs under Highway 16. Whoa, that's where he lives. He lives in a big empty pipe underneath of a highway. And the highway is called 16. Look, all the cars go by. I bet it's pretty loud where he lives. Let's find out more. For as long as he can remember, this big pipe has been Stick Dog's home. And for as long as he can remember, he's always been alone. He's never lived with any other dogs. He certainly never had a human family that he can remember. That's not Stick Dog. He doesn't have a family. Hmm. This does not make Stick Dog sad at all. Oh. Hmm. Maybe if he once had a human family or a brother or a sister and then suddenly found himself alone, well then maybe he would feel sad living by himself in a big pipe out in the suburbs. But he's not sad. But he didn't, so he doesn't. It is, after all, hard to miss something you've never had. For instance, I don't miss waking up on the moon and going for a gravity-defying morning stroll. <laughs> Ooh, that would be fun. Why? Because I've never done it. But I bet astronauts who have actually walked on the moon probably miss bouncing around from crater to crater all the time. See what I mean? So he's never done it, so he doesn't miss it. Hmm. Besides, Stick Dog isn't really alone. He has some very good friends. We'll meet them in a couple of minutes. There's no water in Stick Dog's pipe. It's nice and dry, and Stick Dog has decorated it with some of his favorite things. He sleeps on a comfy old couch cushion. He found it in a dumpster behind a furniture store and dragged it home at night when nobody was watching. Stick Dog finds a lot of things that way. So he went looking at night, he found it behind a furniture store, and dragged at home. Hmm. Stick Dog also has a big assortment of things to chew on, mostly tennis balls and frisbees that he's brought home from Picasso Park. All in all, his pipe is pretty good is a pretty good place to live. He can hear crickets and toads at night. And when the sky is clear, Stick Dog leans leans his head out of the pipe and stares at the stars and the moon. On nights like that, lying there on his cushion with a frisbee in his mouth, Stick Dog knows that he's got it pretty darn good. Hmm. So Stick Dog has a nice place to live, and he's also got friends. Good friends. And what's better than a good friend? Well, maybe a good friend who happens to have some doggy snack ruse in his pocket is a little better, but that's about it. When I introduce Stick Dog's four friends, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, hey, these four friends, Poo Poo, Karen, Mutt, Stripes, look remarkably similar to the four types of other dogs in the last chapter. You're absolutely right about that. But they're the only kinds of dogs I can draw. And please remember our deal. Remember, you can't worry about his drawings. That was part of the deal. Stick Dog has four friends who stop by his empty pipe on a regular basis. There's a poodle named Poo Poo. Let's go back to Poo Poo. So there's Poo Poo, who was a poodle. Now, it is important to know that Poo Poo is not named after, you know, going to the bathroom. He's named after his own name. Get it? Poodle? Poo poo. Not after poop. Oh. There's also a Dalmatian named Stripes. 
Stripes like to be a little Stripes likes to be a little oddballish. She's covered in spots, but her name is Stripes. Hmm. See what I mean? If she was, say, all black from nose to tail, their name would probably be Snowball. <laughs> Stripes is the kind of dog who would look at a gray, rainy day and say something like, let's go on a picnic, or what a great day for a bike ride. You don't like to go outside during that time. Of course, dogs don't typically ride bikes, but you get what I mean. Then there's a dash hound. Her name is Karen. Let's go back and look at Karen. There she is. There's Karen. This kind of a human name, but it's her name, and there's not much we can do about it. It's kind of like if your uncle was named Snoopy, you wouldn't call him Uncle Bob. You'd call him Uncle Snoopy. Of course, if your buddies were around and you didn't want them to know that your uncle's name was Snoopy, you might just call him Uncle Man or Uncle Dude or Uncle Monka Ding Dong or something. Uncle Monka Ding Dong. <laughs> anyway, this dash hound's name is Karen. There's also a dog named Mutt. He's a mutt. Enough said. Then there's Mutt. Remember earlier in Chapter 1 he talked about how he draws Mutt's he just puts little squigglies on them because mutts are mixed up as everything. So he just uses all those little squigglies. All right, guys. And that's the end of our chapter. So we now know where he lives. He lives in a tunnel. And that tunnel is underneath of a highway. So that's where Stick Dog lives. We also know that Stick Dog has never had a family. But he's not sad about it because he doesn't know what a family is like. And then we also know that he has four friends. He has Poo Poo, Karen, Mutt, and Stripes, who has spots, not stripes, but his name is Stripes. All right, guys, that's the end of chapter two. Next, we'll read chapter three, which is called A Pleasant Aroma is Detected. All right, thanks for listening.